is where we want you to start exploring your journey, uncovering the whys of your shift in behavior. Most people have two opposite energies going up. It's just a pattern that a lot of people fall into. And the most common pattern we see is that your highest spike up in the middle graph is the lowest column in the right hand graph. If that's true for you, that means every one of you wakes up every day, looks in the mirror Monday through Friday and literally says to yourselves, okay, time to get ready for work today. And I'm gonna try super hard to be the person I'm not. You can change the preference flow in any moment, like standing here talking with you. If I decide to get very analytical and less emotional and focus more on the data, I'm spiking my cool blue in that moment. But if I throw out a big, enthusiastic smile, I'm spiking yellow energy in that moment. What we want you to think about all day long, 100 times a day, what's the one color that you're spiking? What's the one color you're spiking for the email you're sending? What's the one color you're spiking for the pace at which you communicate with someone? Is it rapid fire conversation or is it calm, caring, connected, earth green in that moment? I'm moving color energies up and down. Now it only works when I'm thinking about it. That's what having conscious awareness allows you to do. If you're not thinking about how you're showing up in the moment, you're gonna show up the less conscious graph to everybody, which means one out of four times, you get lucky and you're showing up the right color energy for someone. But three out of four times, you're probably doing it all wrong. Awareness changes everything. By the way, underneath the middle graph, we measure how far you stretch yourself. The higher the number, the more you stretch. The number is a percentage, but it's not zero to 100%. That's not the range. The range is actually negative 66.7% to positive 66.7%. And most people come in around 35%. Most people stretch and try to bring more of something. In other words, more people have color energy spiking up than down. People push their energies up. Maybe a fourth of the time, you're holding your energy down. But what I want you to think about here is that there's not a good or a bad number underneath your middle graph, but there is a good or a bad feeling that you can have, regardless of what your number is, because the higher your number, the more you stretch. Some people love that feeling. Others are simply exhausted by it. This is your opportunity to reflect on how you feel at the end of the day. Do you have energy to give those in your personal life or are you fried? Are you spiking colors for success or for pure survival? I've worked with hundreds of people at 66.7%. They're stretching as far as we can measure and they love it. Think about how you feel in the morning when it's a work day compared to when you wake up on a Saturday. Do you feel differently? What feels really good for most people is taking the middle graph to zero, showing no colors going up or down, not stretching ourselves at all. That graph represents your internal Richter scale. The more movement in that scale, the greater likelihood that you're tired at the end of the day. The learning here is about the importance of being ourselves so that we aren't so tapped at the end of the day. Don't wait until five o'clock Friday to breathe a sigh of relief. Consciously think about how you can get back energy by dialing up colors in the moment when you have to and pulling them back down when they're not necessary. You can reclaim a lot of energy back if you manage your movement in between your two graphs. If you experience what we call the Sunday scaries, you need to explore why the movement you're making from less conscious persona to conscious persona triggers you. There's so much to be learned about how we're showing up each day when we pay attention to our preference flow and what we do as we move back and forth between the left and the right hand graphs. Think about taking some time and really noticing how you feel on a weekday morning, preparing for work, and especially on a Sunday afternoon if you work Monday through Friday, and realize Monday is right around the corner. Wouldn't it be great to feel just as good on a Monday morning as you do on a Saturday morning? If we had a group of retirees take this assessment, do you know what would be going on in their preference flow? Not much because they're doing exactly what they want to be doing. They aren't stretching themselves. Remember, it's not about the work that you do. It's about how you feel about how you're showing up each day. 
and your preference flow is where you'll find all the answers.